Hello, hello mga palangga. Welcome back to my YT channel. This is again, I'm Senior General Voice. Again, to the topic, continue to the topic of collegative properties. And we go now to the phrase point, depression, problem solving. Okay. So, that's your mean. Number two na tanong, mga palangga. Number two, char. Okay. Number two. So, but before going further, guys, the boiling point uh, elevation, freezing point depression, it talks about the temperature. Okay? So, anyway, if you are not uh, familiarized with this particular topic, you might say another thing because the word temperature is not mentioned, right? Obviously. But it's, it has a connotation, connotation, or it has an idea that it is referring to temperature. All. Okay, since normally that's expressed in the socials, but expect that unexpected sometimes it could be asked by another unit of temperature, not only limited to Celsius. And now this is the time we'll be able to discuss the formulas of temperature so that in the future examinations you have an idea to convert that to ranking, to Kelvin, or whatever, to Fahrenheit. Because uh, you don't have to uh, to be stagnant and stuck up with only one unit, okay, in temperature. Because we have four units and temperatures. You have degrees Celsius, which is Fahrenheit, uh, Kelvin, and Rankine or Rankine. Okay, so the Rankine or the Rankine, it, it's up to you to pronounce that one. What is the pronunciation? As long as we mean the same thing. Okay, Rankine, like that, Rankine, or whatever, capital R. Kelvin is capital K, okay, like that. And you don't have to say degree, because Kelvin has no degree. Only the temperature of Celsius and Fahrenheit has degree, okay, before the unit, something like that. Okay, so first we need to teach you the first formula of temperature in terms of Celsius. Okay, so the purpose is you have to memorize this, okay? Like that. Okay. So it can be also useful. Uh, okay. Whatever. Okay. You can apply this also uh, in the real world. But usually you can apply on the Celsius and um, Fahrenheit and Kelvin, but not the ranking, right? But at least we have an idea also what's another unit for the temperature. Okay. So Celsius is equals to. Okay. Mga pala Okay. That's 5 over 9. Degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. Okay? Degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Just put hint or clue in your brain cells so that you will never forget. Okay. I memorized this when I was in high school and up to now I can still exactly memorize. Because I have hint and clue where to, oh, it's gonna be like that. So you will memorize this even up to your last breath. Okay, if you have a clear uh, identification, hint and clue that, oh, it's going to be like that. Okay, so do not just plainly memorize, understand, oh, I get blah, 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 so on. So do you know what I mean? Okay, like that. So degrees Fahrenheit, 9 over 5. Okay, degrees Celsius plus 32. Uh, Kelvin, degrees Celsius plus 273 like that or 273.15 to be exact but most books and other references only have 273 it doesn't matter because the point 15 sounds to be negligible and irrelevant but to be precise just carry that out in a way that's only two figure point one and five right so 273.5 like that Okay, Rankine. Rankine is equals to 1.8 times the value of Kelvin. So these are the four Celsius that will be used over and over again in temperature conversions. Okay, I emphasize this because our topic is collective properties and this, uh, you know, properties are referring to the temperatures, the boiling point elevation, okay, and the freezing point depression. Okay, now, problem number two. I have to erase now. Okay, okay, write that in your block sheet of paper and it starts to memorize. Okay, like that. As much as you could in your uh, first year college or 
high school. Whatever. Okay. So determine the freezing point. Okay. Number two, determine the freezing point. Okay. But before going further, guys, what is the freezing point of water? It's gonna be like this. Okay. Zero degrees Celsius, thirty-two point two degrees Fahrenheit, and two nine eight Kelvin. So that's three. And I need also to memorize the ranking. Again, I have the calculator here. First time, so that I can add one memorization of the freezing point of water. Because when I was in high school, I memorized the freezing point of water only three units. But now, on the spot, I have to add one. So ranking. So 1.8 times 273, right? Okay. Kelvin and So 0 plus 273.15, right? Get the point? So. 273.15 times 1.8. Wow, first time memorization. So we have 491.67 ranking the freezing point of water. Okay, so we have now four. Okay, zero degrees Celsius. Okay, 32.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that's very clear, mga talaga. 273.15 Kelvin, okay, and 491.67 Rankine. These four are the standard units or values of freezing point of water. This is very basic and the most common, so you need to memorize, okay? I'm not forcing you to memorize, but if you are a chemical engineering, these chemistry students, or any related science person, you have to. Because you have rigid subjects in chemistry, right? Okay, something like that. So, determine the freezing point. Mapalanga. Okay, like that. And this is very also useful in design, engineering design. Because temperature is an operating parameter. Okay, when you design a work equipment, a machine, or when you design a process, something like that in the future. Okay, if you are now an engineer, whatever, a scientist, or name it, okay, you have to understand that units of temperature. Okay, so where where we are now? So determine the freezing point of okay of a solution. Mm, okay, of a solution, mga palangga, if four hundred grams. <laughs> of aluminum chloride aluminum chloride aluminum chloride guys sometimes can be call, called as ferric chloride because we have a charge of three transposed to the chlorine side by the way we have the ferros and the ferric a ferros is positive two or charge and then ferric has a positive free charge. So, aluminum chloride is basically the ferric chloride. Okay. So, what's this solve? Okay. In 1,600 grams of water. Water. Or water. <laughs> it depends on your pronunciation. Okay. In 1,600 grams of tobe. Okay. Okay. Okay, mga palangga. Freezing point of solution. Okay, on. Okay. So, how can we do this? What is our first attack in our solution proper for this particular problem, mga palangga? Okay. Okay, so ganun siya. So, given. No need to put because, you know, it's very clear in our problem. We can trace immediately, right? Okay, like that. So, our formula to be used is, this is present point of solution. We can say directly that it's going to be like, present point of solution is equal to the present point of solvent. Okay, solvent water. Okay, okay. Plus the freezing point depression of solute which is the aluminum chloride okay solute solvent solution mixture oh, meaning to say classification of matter ok 
Okay, meaning a mixture and a pure substance. Okay, and this is heterogeneous mixture. Why? Because water is liquid, aluminum chloride is solid. There are two phases involved in our chemical reaction. Any questions so far? Okay. Okay. Now we need the freezing point conversion of aluminum chloride, which we are trying to compute. Right? And we have the freezing point of water, as I told you over and over again. We have the four. 32.2 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius, 491.67, the latest I memorized, 491.67 Rankine, and also 273.15 Kelvin. Choose among them, which is compatible for your unit of temperature being expressed in your problem. Okay? That's very clear. Okay. So we have now... Celsius, because Celsius is our unit here. Okay, zero degrees Celsius plus, and we don't know yet, the freezing point depression of aluminum chloride in which we are trying to compute. Now, delta Tf of aluminum chloride. Oh, man. It's equals to the, since this is freezing point depression, we have now the cryoscopic constant or the freezing point depression constant equal to negative 1.86 degrees celsius over the molality or the molar okay so our kb is negative 1.86 degrees celsius over m that's why i told you we use the freezing point zero because our degree celsius is the unit of our cryoscopic freezing point depression constant okay so k kf okay f stands for freezing the first letter of freezing that's why kf okay so kf times the molality of aluminum chloride times the vapor factor of your aluminum chloride. So put that in your brain cells, mga palangga, general chemistry lecture students, that the vapor factor is always incorporated in your boiling point elevation calculation as well as your freezing point depression calculation. Okay, now. So how can we dissociate this aluminum chloride into water? So it's gonna be like this. Aluminum splits, aluminum chloride splits into aluminum and chloride. So aluminum, passive phases. I told you this is a ferric chloride, okay? In the introductory part of my discussion. So it's gonna be passive three of aluminum, okay? Plus chloride negative one. So we have a subscript of three, then we put that to the side of chloride because there's no rule that could stay that it's been in the subscript when you dissociate that one. Okay? It's only Cl2. Cl. Okay? You cannot say Cl3. Okay? So it's like three Cl negative one. So three moles or coefficient of chloride negative one so our i vacuum factor is supposed to positive three from aluminum positive three plus three times negative one negative three negative three plus negative three how much negative six or positive six right get the point now 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 this is the question what is the difference of equivalent and the vapor factor in this situation? Okay, what is the difference? Okay, the difference, guys, is that in the vapor factor, okay, actually, we don't need to consider the number of moles already in the situation. I just emphasize in you that it's gonna be like that, but there's an exemption. Okay, you'll say just positive three, plus negative 1 is equals to 4, okay? Vantu factor I is equal to 4, not the 6. Okay. As, at least you know how to compute the equivalent, okay? Like that. Get the point on that now. So 4 lang siya. 3 plus negative 1. 
Okay, but if you're trying to compute for the equivalence of one ratio with chuchu, then it's beyond four. Okay, yanan. But focus lang kita, focus all the time with the charges lang muna ha. Okay, ganon. Get the point? <laughs> Kaloka. Especially the so many charges in the uh, elemental constituents. Okay, get the point? So it's gonna be four. Matalanga. So KF, negative 1.6. Okay, Celsius over molality. Okay, times the molality in which you don't know yet. Anon. Times the four. Because it's only four. By one, three plus one, yes. Four. Okay? Ganan. So, molality. Compute for the molality. Okay? Molality is the moles of solute for the kilogram of solvent. So, the mole of aluminum chloride, mga palangga, is equal to... Ganan, ganan. Chuba, chuba, chuba. Is equals to... We have the 400 grams of aluminum chloride. So, 400 grams of aluminum chloride, mga palangga. Okay. The molecular weight of aluminum, nakakaluka. Okay. Since I know the atomic weight of chlorine is 35.45 grams per mole, but I forgot the aluminum. <laughs> I need to look at the periodic table. Aluminum, nasaan ka ngayon? Okay. 26 point, ano to eh? 26.98? 26.98 plus 35.45 times 3. This is your molecular weight. Grams. Ganon. <coughs> Aluminum chloride. Okay? Cancel the gram. And then you have the molality. Molality is moles per kilogram. Then put the kilogram in the denominator. Okay? Kilogram of water. How much? Uh, 1,600 grams is equal to how many kilograms? Move three zeros in the left. One, two, two. Okay. 1.6 kilogram of water. Okay, ganon. So it's gonna be ganon siya. So mole per kilogram of water. And this is now your molality. Calculator, please. Okay. So, mali siya nito bukang dita yun na. Okay, so 26 point, okay. 35.45 times 3 plus 26.98 is equal to 133.33 charm. Okay, 133.33 times 1.6 is equal to 213.328, 400 divided by, no, nakuman doon sa kong brain cells. <laughs> Okay, plus 26.98, okay, times 1.6 is equals to 213.328, ang denominator, 213.328, dahil yun, 400 sa numerator. Okay lang na mga kalangka. So, memory in, memory recall, right? 400 divided by 213.3, ah, magash, 328 is equals to... 1.88 molal. So 1.88 molal or small letter n unit and then substitute that here. So 1.88 molal, cancel the molal. And look, what's left is degree Celsius. Okay? Your freezing point depression of your solute will now be equal to. Nakakaloka. Okay? It's gonna be negative, right? This is a negative sign. Okay, so 1.88 times 4 times 1.86 is equals to 13.9872 negative. Negative 13.9872 Celsius. Right? 72 Celsius. Now substitute this value to your first equation here. So here, okay, freezing point of aluminum chloride. The question here, let's see, in the first. Now, negative uh, 39872. So it will become now uh, 0 degree Celsius plus negative 13.9872. Math, it will become negative. Because negative 13 is higher than 0. So it will carry the sign to the greater value. Right? So negative. Negative 13.9872. 872 degrees Celsius. And this is your answer. 
on a chair because they determine the pressing point in degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> okay, like this. So you use the formula of degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, this is I teach you a while ago. Okay, the formula of Fahrenheit. Okay, this is a negative value for Celsius, and I'm pretty sure that the value will be positive already if you, if you compute for the degrees Fahrenheit. Let's check. Okay, degrees Celsius. So degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5. Okay, degrees Celsius times degrees Celsius plus 32. And then 9 over 5 times negative 13.98 degrees Celsius plus 32. Obviously, your answer will be positive. I think so. Yes. Okay. Okay, 9 divided by 5, mga kalanda. But I think 1.8 based on the memorization. Okay, 9 divided by 5. Yes, perfect. 1.8 times 13.98. Okay, so ganun siya. Minus 32 is equals to 6.836. Positive siya, degrees Fahrenheit. 6.836 degrees Fahrenheit. 6836 degrees Fahrenheit. Allah. Okay. See? Okay. I will teach you. The ice freezing point is how much? 32.2 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Equals to 0 degrees Celsius. Now you obtain negative 13987. Meaning to say it decreases your freezing point to 6.836 degrees Fahrenheit because the theory states if you add a non-volatile solute, your freezing point of your solution will decrease and it matches the answer here. Okay, it's valid based on the theory and concept we discussed a while ago. Any questions so far? or nothing so if you like this video you can comment you can like and share and you can subscribe my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet and then you can click the notification bell for some news updates of i am a senior eternal voice goodbye bye bye everybody god bless see you later